Today I've got a first look and first impressions on this tent, the Tarp Tent Double Rainbow DW Ultra that's made with the Ultra TNT fabric. I'm excited to share it with you guys. Now the Double Rainbow is not a new tent design by any means, but in recent years they have released some updates and some additional model options of it for you to choose which style makes the most sense for you. The original version uses a single wall design and a nylon fabric for the body of the tent. Then they released the lithium version that uses a Dyneema composite fabric for the build of the tent and it's also single walled. Then they released the double wall version that uses a 20 denier polyester fly. Now you've got the double wall ultra that introduces the ultra TNT fabric to the tent that doesn't necessarily save a massive amount of weight, especially between the polyester double wall version and the ultra version, but there's some really key benefits to the ultra fabric that is really exciting. Now, general specs of the tent here are first that this is a two person size tent with a floor size that is 50 inches wide and 88 inches long. So you can get two wide sleeping pads in here to use for two people. It's not gonna leave you much space to put any gear inside of the tent, but you do have two doors and two vestibules and enough vestibule space to put your packs, shoes, whatever other gear you want to store in the vestibules. You have a peak height of 40 inches, so plenty of space to sit up and move around with the tent. It is double walled as well. So you've got the outer fly that's made with the Ultra TNT fabric, and then the inner body is a semi-solid interior. So you've got some solid fabric plus the mesh, and the floor is made with the 20 denier coated nylon. Now the weight of the tent is just over 40 ounces when you opt to use the carbon pull set that you can get. Add a few more ounces if you opt for the aluminum pull set, but that's really nice when you are looking at this as a two person tent because you can split the items up between each other and carry 20 or so ounces per person and have a really lightweight, livable, just fantastic shelter for pretty much any kind of condition you would find yourself in. And then a price point of $539 when you opt for the carbon pull set makes this a very competitive option when you look at all of the features that this tent provides. Now I wanna talk about the key attribute of this tent, which is the use of the Ultra TNT fabric, which stands for tarp and tent. Now what you have here is a laminate fabric that uses two layers of a mylar film and then laminated between those layers is a 200 denier ultra fiber that's laid in three different directions. So it makes it a very dimensionally strong fabric, but it's also got some weaknesses. It's great as a fly material, but because you have wider gaps on where those ultra fibers are laid, it's not a great floor fabric. So you're not gonna see it used in the floors of ultralight tents of any kind. Now the weight of the fabric is 0.94 ounces per square yard. So it's nearly twice the weight of the half ounce Dyneema that you're used to seeing used on a lot of ultralight tents out there. But it also has the benefit of being nearly half the cost of that half ounce Dyneema. So you might be asking yourself, why would I get this over the polyester version, which is not that much heavier and is less money. But the biggest benefit of the TNT Ultra Fabric is that it is so dimensionally strong. It's gonna be very stable in all kinds of weather conditions, and it is not gonna take on any kind of water weight. Polyester is known to not stretch and not take on as much water as nylon, but over time, it will still break down with the coatings that are on it, and it will eventually take on water weight and stretch a little bit. So you've got the benefit of no stretch whatsoever and a very stable and strong fly fabric, and it's not gonna take on any water weight. And you have the benefit of being a fully bonded fabric here that doesn't have a bunch of stitch lines in it. It is heat welded together, and it is very, very strong. Now, some other key features that are important to point out about the tent are one, it's a double wall tent, so managing condensation is gonna be easier than with a single wall tent. On the fly of the tent here, you've got magnetic tie backs for the door, and you've also got two zipper poles on the door that make it possible to vent this a lot easier. So I can zip that all the way down, and then I've got a pole here at the top 
It actually has a magnet up there as well, but it gives me the opportunity to close things up a touch, but also provide more ventilation. I also like that you do have a peak vent here, and that peak vent doesn't have any mesh attached to it, so it really does provide the opportunity for you to get good venting on the tent. This cross pole here at the top is available to be pitched on the outer of the fly or on the inner, depending on how you are gonna be using the tent. You've got the ability here as well for a lot of ventilation on the fly of the tent. So I can unclip the clip here at the center, loosen up my sides here just a touch, and then I'm able to roll this up a few rolls and I can snug that down again. And here on the inner body of the tent, I've actually got some fabric panels that I can unvelcro from a loop and create some really nice ventilation through the tent here and not have to worry if I do get a light rain overnight, I'm still protected from any splashback or rain and such that would come into the tent. But if I need to button things down, I can do that really quickly. But you've also got the ability to unclip your ends here at the corners all the way and roll this back and just create a stargaze or a bunch of ventilation, but then quickly roll the fly down if you need to have that coverage. You've also got some Velcro that attaches through some holes on the body of the tent, so it makes this a very, very stable tent. And these loops right here, I can attach some guy lines in opposing directions on each side of the arch pole here and make it very stable in heavy winds. This is just a really well thought out tent that has so many cool features to make it a very usable tent in all sorts of different conditions. And I'll also note that, yes, it is semi-freestanding, but with some trekking poles, you can make this a fully freestanding tent. Now, sitting here inside of the tent, you can just see how much space there is to move around. Now, you don't have vertical walls necessarily, so when you do have two people in here, you are going to be shoulder to shoulder pretty tight. So sitting opposite of each other is probably gonna be the more comfortable way to use this with two people. But you've got plenty of mesh for you to have lots of ventilation, and it's also got some fabric down here at the bottom of the tent, which is gonna help with spin drifting dirt, sand, and potentially snow that would be blowing up through underneath. You've also got a really nice peak height. So I'm sitting just back of center of the tent, and you can see I have space to move around. Then here at the end of the tent, this is where that mesh panel is with these fabric pieces that come up to close that off as necessary, or if you're wanting to increase the ventilation flow, roll those ends of the fly up, then I can uh, do all of that on both ends of the tent. I've got a pocket down here on one side and a second pocket on the other, and two doors, two vestibules, to make it really easy to get in and out of the tent. Now a quick comparison between the Double Rainbow DW Ultra and the Double Rainbow Lithium. This tent here is a single wall tent, exact same dimensions as the Double Wall Ultra, but this is single walled with a Dyneema composite fabric used for the body of the tent and comes in at a price of $679 and a weight of just over 30 ounces with the new nylon floor that's available with this tent as opposed to the Dyneema that was used for the floor like I have on my model. That 10 ounces of weight difference or so carries a price difference of $140 to save that 10 ounces, but you have some really nice benefits of going with a double wall option here that provides a bit more versatility, but if saving as much weight as possible and having just a really premium option, then this is a solid way to go as well. Now overall, this tent is just exciting because it introduces a new fabric that we haven't seen used on tents before, it gives us another option to have on the market, and I like that. I also just really enjoy the thought that goes into the designs of Tarp Tents products, especially these like OG, just 
classic designs that they have, they're always improving and making it a more versatile and functional product. And that gets a huge thumbs up for me. We're gonna get more time with it. And then once I put it through its paces, I plan to share a full in-depth review, more pros, more cons, and what my experience is like with it. So thanks for watching today, guys. If you're not subscribed to the channel, gotta love those helicopters. <laughs> Do subscribe to the channel. Appreciate you. Hope you have an awesome day. Catch you on the next one. See you later.